Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Windows 11 gets fixed for Ryzen, 12th gen pricing is a bummer, the 12,900K can heat your home this winter, AMD released a new GPU for gamers, and Ryzen 6000 APUs are amazing. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, if you've been following the channel, you know that AMD recently announced a couple bugs in Windows 11 that affects all supported Ryzen CPUs. Specifically, the L3 cache latency was increased and Windows couldn't recognize the preferred core. First, the L3 cache bug was fixed in a recent Windows 11 preview build that should be released Tuesday, and finally is a chipset driver from AMD to fix the preferred core issue. I'll have links to both of those if you're interested, but as of now, things are looking better. We'll just have to keep an eye out for potential bugs in the future. But first, you can have a chance to win one of the most iconic cars in the world with today's sponsor, Omaze, the company that gives away one-of-a-kind prizes while donating money to charities across the world. And today, they're giving away an original DeLorean DMC-12 that was restored by the iconic company themselves this year. And while I can't promise time travel, I can say that you'll be helping out a great cause with donations going to the Peterson Automotive Museum, a great museum that explores the history of the automobile and its impact on global life and culture. Your generosity helps their K-12 through YouTube series that helps integrate the automobile into curriculums. So what are you waiting for? Visit omaze.com slash gamermeld for your chance to win your very own DeLorean. Plus, you get to help out a great cause. Once again, that's omaze.com slash gamermeld. Next up for today, it looks like we finally have US pricing for Intel's upcoming Alder Lake CPUs. In a new post from resident leaker Momomo underscore US, he shared listings of two CPUs from Micro Center. And as you can see, we have both the 12,900K and 12,700K. When it comes to the price, things are a bit disappointing. As you can see, the 12,700K comes in at $469, which is $70 higher than last gen. With that said, the 12,700K should be going up against AMD's 5900X, so it's still very much a good deal given it can perform as well. Next, we have the 12,900K, which comes in at $669, and that's $130 more than the 11,900K. But just like the 12700K, it's still a good deal when compared to AMD's 5950X. The only difference is that AMD can likely lower their price pretty quickly. That and AMD is of course planning to release their 3D parts before long. Basically, as long as these prices are right, which they likely are given the timing, Intel could be great at price or performance, but it would have been way better if they kept the price down. And speaking of 12th gen, Intel's 12900K is a bigger power hog than I ever thought possible. And yeah, that means it gets worse than the last leak that claimed over 330 watts. This one actually comes from the same leaker as the last benchmark, but this time he was able to get the P cores all the way up to 5.3 gigahertz. With that said, he kept the E cores stock, but with this configuration, the CPU drew a whopping 400 watts of power. That's a high-end GPU kind of power draw. I mean, that's more than the 3090. Of course, that is pushing the CPU quite a bit because he had to up the voltage to 1.44 volts. But still, remember that the E cores are at stock clocks, so this all comes from the P cores. Not only that, but apparently even with ice water, A to 64 can only last a minute before overheating. Basically, Intel likely has these pushed to their max out of the box, which definitely explains why Silicon Lottery recently decided to close their doors. Next up for today, AMD just announced a new GPU seemingly out of nowhere. In a new collaboration with 343 Studios, AMD released a special edition Halo Infinite themed RX 6900 XT. Now, what's most interesting about this is that AMD isn't going to be selling this GPU, at least not in the traditional sense. Instead, AMD says you'll have, quote, multiple opportunities over the coming weeks to allow you to get your hands on one. Basically, it sounds like they're planning to do giveaways or something along those lines. 
Either way, they specifically state that they want these getting in the hands of gamers. Not only that, but starting October 26th, AMD will include one month of Xbox Game Pass with select Radeon and Ryzen products so you can play Halo Infinite on day one. As far as the card itself, it looks pretty sweet. You have Master Chief's green Spartan armor with 117 for, of course, John 117. I think it's something Dr. Halsey herself would be proud of. And lastly for today, AMD is gearing up to release their Ryzen 6000 Rembrandt APUs. And with it, finally comes the end of Vega. That's right, AMD's next-gen AP user is set to come with RDNA 2. And to make things even better, we have our first benchmark of the upcoming chip. And let's just say RDNA 2 is a monster. The information comes from a user benchmark found and shared by BenchLeaks and later reported by Tom's Hardware. Unfortunately, it has since been taken down, but as always, that's a good sign more than anything. As far as the processor name, it only uses an OPN code, but it mentioned the FP7 socket, which means it should be a next-gen mobile APU. This part comes with 8 cores and 16 threads, so it's probably a 6800H, 6900HS, etc. Either way, it clocks at up to 3.9 GHz, but likely it gets up to 4.1. Oh, and it uses DDR5, so AMD won't be far behind Intel on next-gen memory support. When it comes to performance, the CPU didn't fare all that well, but it's either due to being an early engineering sample or the latency from a single stick of 4800 memory. I mean, it even lost to last gen, so it's obviously one of those. Of course, the iGPU is the most exciting part, and AMD doesn't disappoint there. As you can see, Tom's hardware compared AMD scores to NVIDIA's MX350 and Intel's XEDG1, both discrete GPUs. Yet AMD's APU completely crushes them both. Well, it did actually lose an M render, but it crushed them and everything else, getting as high as 382% faster in reflections. Basically, AMD's RDNA 2 architecture is set to give AMD's APUs a massive jump over last gen. Let's just say before long, APUs could be a serious option for gamers. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's next-gen Ryzen APUs, or are you looking forward to Intel's 12th gen? Let me know down in the comments below, and definitely make sure to check out Omaze in the description below. And as always, have a great day!